All right, great beard here. And as you can see right at the very beginning, the motorcycle carrier. Uh, the, the instructions are kind of uh, simple and not very telling. So I had to uh, uh, search on YouTube of what to do with this and uh, you know, to get a little understanding of what all these pieces go because there's three and three for each side. And then you got one and another one that have pins. I don't know what that's for. I'm just going to put them in there and they're going to be permanent because <laughs> I don't see myself pulling them out for anything. And they're supposed to go in a certain slot. I'm not really sure which. don't really say. I guess it depends on your your needs like if you need one of these being able to pull in and out or something like that real easy that's what that's good for. But anyways there's a ton of crap here and hardly anything telling you what to do with it. <coughs> but I'm here to show you. Uh, anyways yeah you got eight of these bolts two 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 you got small washers and large washers. Uh, I'm assuming large washers need to go on the outside. Hopefully I screw up and make this video <laughs> take so long it splits into two. You know, like my last video, riding with the new apes. Uh, Went into like about 27 minutes or so and split into two again until I get it in uh, software. It's going to be that way. But uh, I'm going to mount this on my chest and see if I can make this a little more. Just to where y'all can see what I'm doing as I do it. Be a little more steady. But, anyways, you got a big washer, bolt small washer, lock washer, and a flange bolt. So I'm, try to... I'm assuming that's how it needs to go. This looks like a little overkill. Assuming that's how it goes, so. though. Let's go ahead and just get all the bolts in. Somewhere here. Alrighty. Small lock nut. get it started yeah this is a cheaper uh, cheaper bike carrier I wouldn't uh, suggest uh, getting it for the uh, like a Sportster or anything bigger than that it says it holds up to 500 pounds a Sportster tops out 500 pounds a little by a little bit and uh, I don't know if I would trust it like if you wanted to take it on a long haul somewhere like hundreds of miles or you know there's something like this here for for my minis and jump like that I don't see the problem but yeah I'm trying to just hurriedly uh, piece this together so y'all at least get an idea guy's video I watched it said to uh, you need two 14 to 16 and something else I don't think it even tells you any of that on here no 
this is the the complete instructions nothing on the other side but uh yeah i kind of figured everything out but wasn't totally positive and oh yeah these bolts you want to make sure you got them pointing toward the vehicle not away because uh when you're uh loading your bike on it you don't want to run your leg across the uh <laughs> i don't know if you saw that uh <laughs> the end of these bolts and end up in uh, agony I'm trying to think yeah i guess that's it these come with the uh, nylon lockers i guess you'd call it um, i'm assuming that you leave it to where rolls you know you don't torque it all the way down to you know torque where you don't go anyways you know, like I said if you want all these facing toward the vehicle I'm gonna see these they call them the long bolt it doesn't call these long bolts even though they're the same length, but what it means is the one for the pin. But and these are for the uh, the supports Try to find the hole looks like it's lined right up yeah there it is okay didn't put a big washer there we go I'm not a professional cameraman so I hope y'all are seeing what I'm doing. <laughs> now she'll teeter. Uh, oh, there is. Another big washer. I'm grabbing from the wrong sides and all that. No biggie though, we'll figure it out. It's part of the way in there. There we go. All right. Yep, one of the first ones I put in. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Now, trying to see if I'm letting y'all see it. Oops. I don't know if I have the camera angle very well. Good to piece all this stuff together and make sure you got all your components on there and all your bolts and nuts in the correct way or whichever way you feel is best. <laughs> Hopefully that's the correct way. I can't get this one started. Let's uh, straighten that out. Let me see if I can find something to prop that up. Let's see. Should be able to find. Look at here, my old trusty socket set. Oh, I had a feeling that was going to fall off. But anyway, I might have to add something to it still. Because it wasn't. Maybe I gave it enough. Yeah, that gave it enough slack. Okay. Just about got them all started. Matters which way you face the regular washers or not. Like I say, the instructions don't tell you that and don't want to start either. Yeah, it's awesome. These are the only bolts that I figured them little washers could go to, though. I'm 
trying to keep this under 18 minutes or whatever the time is on when this thing decides to split it into a second video or not. That doesn't seem like it's... Let me try something here. See, there's a gap there. And that's keeping me from... Uh... Yes, everything's trying to fall apart on me. Anywho, squeeze clamp. If I can pull one of these out without... Uh, El Cheapo from Walmart. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say these are professional, but I'm trying. Wish I had that upside down. Anywho, I'm just trying to. <coughs> oh, that's probably too far. What I'm trying to do is just close this gap right here if you can see it you probably won't be able to yes that's helping oh yes yeah I needed to close that gap there because if you look it's like just about lined up perfect with the rest of them see I was able to get all these started but this one was Part of the uh, uh, cheapness of it, I guess. They didn't make sure that uh, everything was lined up a little bit better. I'll get it as tight as I can. Okay. Uh oh. Really? Thing didn't want to let loose. <clears throat> but that should have done it for the other one. Make sure I can, you can see what I'm doing. Hey. Like picking up a wet die. Thick fingers. There we go. I'm not going to tighten nothing up yet either. So I may not be able to. Yeah, we're already at 1241. <laughs> what I'm going to do is these go on. So what we need here is I'm assuming one here. And also, see these here? They go there too. And that's what your ramp, which is over here. Which I'm wondering how that's going to work with my mini, with them fat bob tires. Well, see, it's going to be riding up here instead of down in there. A regular dirt bike or something will ride down in there. But it'll work. I'm just hoping it don't... Just hoping it don't chew up my tires. And then, if you see there's a little V, this ramp has a little... there if you can see it that catches in there of course that car ain't gonna have it setting up that high uh, if you have a lifted truck or something that's gonna be a problem for the ramp because that ramp is <laughs> pretty steep sitting there like this and I know a lot of boys like to have their ramps I mean their truck, trucks lifted so daggone high that that's probably gonna be a problem of course, if you're lifting a truck that high, you're not really concerned about usability because it doesn't make any sense to lift a truck that high if you're going to use it, other than just the mud in or something. Yeah. Boop. I actually wish to. If I end up running too long, I'll go ahead and do the, do the uh, loading of the bike. Okay. Let's see. Got to kind of... Yeah. There we go. All righty. Put another one of these. All right. 
flathead heater, flat washer, lock washer, and that. Repeat it on the front side. I can give you quite a bit of bolt on these dark colored bolts. They're not painted that well. Of course, uh, I don't see this. Like I say, it's a cheaper carrier, which like I say, I didn't think that uh, I would need that much for a mini bike. If I go to hauling a bigger bike, I ain't gonna be <laughs> hauling it on the back of my HHR. <laughs> go to haul a bigger bike, I'm gonna plan on having a little more uh, vehicle to pull it with. Sorry, I keep having to move this, and every time I do it, it makes a noise. I see it when I, or hear it when I replay the video. But yeah, this is pretty much just about it. Saying so you get these. The guy I watched do his, they only seen him too, but I get a, I got a third one. <laughs> so I guess I'll put the third one right there. Right here. Anywho, because I'm special. There we go. So yeah, once you get these up, oh, yeah, yeah, I already got the, yeah. It pieces together real easy, though. And then the key is to crank down your bolts, uh, but uh, boy, he uh, he didn't look as stout as I am that I watched. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, he uh, was able to torque them down enough on these bolts. I can't see if you can. on these bolts here. He, he torqued them down, and you could see it bowing in the middle there where he torqued them bolts down. That's because uh, if you look at these. <laughs> Easy, but not that easy to get this out. Let me get my phone. Let me get my phone. 